A balloon will change its volume as its temperature and pressure change. With a drop in both pressure and temperature, how much will the balloon change volume? First we will list our given data. There is a lot of information in the problem. Looking at the temperatures, it is apparent that they need to be converted into Kelvin. The pressures are in PSI and can be converted to Pascals, but do not need to in order to solve the problem. When changing from PSI to Pascals, the values need to be multiplied by 6900. Since we will be setting up a ratio with pressure 1 divided by pressure 2, the 6900 will be divided out of the equation. Converting temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius requires more work and not just a simple multiplier. First we will get the Celsius temperature from Fahrenheit. We rearrange the formula to isolate Tc and solve. Now that we have Tc, we will use our conversion to get it into Kelvin. We add 273 to our Celsius temperature. And we have our temperature in Kelvin. So T1 equals 306.33 Kelvin and T2 equals 273 Kelvin. Now we set up an ideal gas ratio to solve for V2. We rearrange the formula to isolate V2. Plug in our values and we can see our volume has increased with our drop in pressure and our drop in temperature. It can be concluded the pressure dropped with a higher percentage than the temperature.